right, mate. So we just wrapped up another competition. I'm eager to hear your thoughts. What are you thinking about the chicken? How do you think we went? Look, it's my second attempt at KCBS chicken. I think for the protein that requires the least amount of time on the smoker, it feels like the most amount of preparation time, to be honest. Preach. You're taking the fat off the skin of the thighs, brine. This time we tried a buttermilk brine, which was interesting and good results. And then you're bringing everything together at the same time, you're pulling your ribs and getting those other larger cuts off the smoker. So I feel like there's a lot of moving pieces and it was really hard to nail the chicken thighs this time. I almost feel like there's gotta be a better way of doing it. Well, you know me, mate. I'm a big fan of simplicity. So a little bit of an experiment for us to run today chicken wings. We're not giving up on that buttermilk brine though, so we're going to run these chicken wings two ways. First, we're going to do a buttermilk brine for these chicken wings. The other option is a really spicy brine. We're going to cook them the same way, and we're really going to see what comes out best, and if chicken wings could be better than chicken thighs for a comp. I love me a spicy wing, so I say we full send it and get these chicken wings on the smoker. What do you say? So we have ourselves a chicken wing. Let's separate this out. Just like that. For this comparison, we're gonna put half our chicken wings in the hot sauce brine. The other half, we're gonna go on a buttermilk brine in just a moment. So let's chuck some in. That's about half. Give that a good mix through. And if they're not fully covered, just add a little bit more water. Lovely. For the remainder of our wings, we're gonna cover in some buttermilk. Get it in there. Mix that through. Make sure everything's covered. We're just gonna let these sit in the fridge for a couple of hours. Waiting. All right, folks, so we've had our chicken wings brining for a few hours now. So we're just going to grab these out of the brine, going to dry them off, and then we're going to put them on a rack, let them sit for a few minutes before applying some rub. Not too much of a color difference to note. That's a bit interesting. I would have expected the meat to go a little bit gray, but that's okay. Maybe it needed to sit for a little bit longer. Grab some paper towel, put it over the top, and pat it dry. Now time for our buttermilk boys. Give them a good shake, chuck them on the paper towel. It's gonna get messy. All right, so let's just get some paper towel and we're just gonna press down on these, give them a good dry before transferring to a wire rack. All right, folks, so we have our buttermilk and our spicy brine wings laid out in front of us. So first step now, we're gonna apply some rub. So we're gonna do two layers of rub, one of which is gonna be a little bit hot, the other which is gonna have a little bit of butter in it. So the butter-based rub, right here, and our spicy rub, right here. So let's get started. So these bad boys already have a lot of flavor in them because they've been brining for a few hours. So don't worry about going too light on the rub. All right, so once that's on, give them a quick pat, and then I'm gonna flip them over and do the same on the other side. This is where you do one of those sick time lapses, guys, where it doesn't actually take me five minutes to flip every wing. Time lapse times 10. All right, so we've got our rub on. We're gonna let these sit for a few minutes and get them nice and sweaty before we chuck them on the smoker. See you soon.
Okay, that's a pretty good chicken. All right, Spunk and Decker fans, we're here for a definitive chicken wing bite theory class. Is it better butter brine your chicken pieces or go for something spicier, do a little bit of a chili brine? That's what we're here to find out today. And we've got two individual chicken pieces done separately on the smoker, cooked identically. However, one has been brined with the buttermilk and the other with the chili brine. I'm gonna bite from the left piece first. Before we go, look at that. Really nice cooking on the outside extremities. Even color. Really good chicken flavor, guys. We can see the bite straight through. Really good flavor, but also a lot of chili. When I took the first bite, I thought that's gotta be buttermilk for sure, just because of the tenderness, the really light flavor of the chicken meat. But the heat that got me at the end thinks maybe there's something more to this. Let's go to the second piece. Again, excellent color. Okay, you can see the bite there, pretty even through, straight to the bone. But I'm not getting such intense heat. I'm getting more mild flavor coming through, a lot more mild. In fact, I'm going to have to say that this is the buttermilk brine chicken piece, while the first piece I took, the chili flavor. Am I right? I guess we'll have to go to Chef Tom for a final conclusion. Stick around. Yeah. Go! All right, folks, so you've just seen Angus stuff his face with some chicken wings, and believe it or not, he guessed the spicy brine correctly. So although the buttermilk was absolutely delicious, in this instance, the spicy brine just added that extra element, extra bit of taste, and that extra bit of tenderness. So I think we're gonna run this for future comps, um, and you should absolutely try this at home for backyard barbecue. Until next time, 